What is up, Guru Gang? If you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you have been a part of the gang, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on today's video. Today, I will be sharing with you guys my favorite items currently. These are just things that I've been using that I really am enjoying right now. But since we are inching closer to the first day of fall, depending on what day I'm actually posting this video, I figured I would go ahead and just get this up because these are my September-ish favorites and I'm very excited to share them with you guys. So if you have seen any of my other favorites videos, y'all know I usually have a very broad variety of beauty items, makeup, fragrance, mental health, supplements, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something you were interested in, then first things first, please make sure you are subscribed so you can participate in my upcoming 10K giveaway because it's going to be a good one. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump around right into it. Let's just go ahead and start y'all with my favorite favorites category, which is fragrance, you guys. So honestly, none of these fragrances are anything new. You guys have heard me speak about them before pretty recently. I know two of these I spoke in my Getting Hyped Fragrances video. So if you do not see that, I will link it up at the top. But yeah, I've talked about all these on my channel recently, y'all. And I mean, they're just no surprise. So the first fragrance we're going to talk about is just a new complete obsession. It literally has had me in a chokehold, you guys. Like I have worn this layered with almost all of these fragrances in this video. And that is Giardini de Toscana's Bianco Latte. You guys, I was not expecting this fragrance to truly just envelop me and just give me such a euphoric state when I am wearing this. I was just not expecting it because y'all know so many fragrances on the internet get hyped up. And for the most part, I usually do like certain ones, but it's rare that I'm truly blown away by fragrance and y'all. This was definitely one of the ones for me. This has been compared heavily to Dulce by Rosie Jane, if you guys have ever smelled that fragrance. And I would say it basically takes the vanilla and the musk from Dulce by Rosie Jane, adds it to this fragrance. So for me, I definitely get a strong vanilla musk blast in the opening. Those are the base notes of this fragrance. I definitely get more of the top and the mid notes in the dry down, the honey, the caramel, and also the coumarin, which gives it, I think, that kind of honey toffee type of feel. Every time I wear this, I smell like a toffee, like think like the toffee inside of a Heath Bar, that super sweet, sticky, delicious toffee note that's very rich, but this is also not super heavy and cloying, so it's perfect to wear for this time of year. And y'all, I have been reaching for this so much. This is the perfect fragrance to wear if you are wearing a sweater, if you want to be cozy in the house, but this is also so long lasting. And if you overspray, absolutely people are going to be smelling you like this leaves an incredible scent trail. You are going to have a scent bubble. You're going to have a bomb sillage. And y'all, I'm just, I'm completely obsessed with this. Like I was not expecting to love it. And I absolutely love, love, love. I get tons of compliments and it's just, it's just good. In my video, when I reviewed this, I said I was going to be picking up the matching lotion and it is on its way to me. So if you wanna shop this fragrance or um, the lotion, I do have a discount code with Lucky Scent, which is where I purchased mine. So I will have that link in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing this fragrance. I do recommend that you buy it if it is in stock because this gets sold out so often that it's usually always on back order. So girl, if it's in stock at the time of me posting this video, I would definitely highly encourage you scoop this one up. Another, another love of mine. I have a dedicated review on this fragrance. I've talked about it in a few videos at this point. And this is the newest Burberry Goddess, y'all. I absolutely love this fragrance. This does not have a huge dent in it, but that's just because I just recently picked up the full-size bottle because I pretty much ran through my travel spray that I had of this. I initially bought a travel spray so that I could review it. And I said I was not gonna get a full size of this because I had some similar fragrances in my collection. But the more I wore it, you guys, the more I just fell in love with it and I truly, truly love it. So. This is a vanilla, gingery, cacao, and lavender fragrance. And I am not a huge lavender lover, but this is basically lavender done in such a delicious, creamy, and smooth way. It's just so likable, you guys. It's an easy wear. You can literally just throw on and go. You can wear this when it's fairly hot, when it's cool, when it's breezy. Like, this is just such a 
beautiful feminine fragrance like this absolutely gives a quiet confidence kind of vibe like that mysterious cool girl kind of vibe like that is what this smells like to me it smells very luxe it smells very rich and i can definitely see this aging very very well it's overall being an easy everyday fragrance that you can wear throughout the seasons but i've just been reaching for this a lot and i absolutely love layering this with so many of my other gourmet fragrances because it just kind of gives that sweet perfumey touch to things without making it super overwhelming and super cloying so yeah if you have not smelled Burberry Goddess yet I highly recommend you guys check her out another fragrance that I have been loving and honestly y'all this one had been collecting dust in my collection for a little while when I originally picked this up I picked this up when it came out last year and I just never really wore it and then the caramel dream came out so I did a review on that one and surprisingly I initially thought that I might have liked the Caramel Dream more, but the more that I'm starting to wear this one, I really prefer this one over the Caramel Dream. I just feel like this one is stronger, it lasts longer, and it gives me more of a scent bubble. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys the name, sorry. But <laughs> this is Sabrina's Sweet Tooth. This is Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth, which this is a super, super affordable fragrance, you guys. And this basically smells like fresh cream warm cashmere by philosophy but a little bit more fluffy pillowy girly creamy and vanillic it definitely has kind of this whipped cream marshmallowy vibe but then there's a sexy woodiness about it as well it's very creamy it's almost kind of like a suede like and for this to only be 27 dollars, y'all this definitely smells like it could cost more than what it actually costs so i've very much been enjoying this one i actually wore this one recently to a kid's party and i layered this with um, a bath and body works wrapped in vanilla and somebody told me that i smelled like marshmallows so take that information with what you will y'all know kids are brutally honest so if a kid tells you you smell good you smell good girl so yeah i've thoroughly been enjoying this little cheapie i'm very glad that i revisited it because like i said y'all it had been collecting dust in my collection so i do still like the caramel dream i thought i would like it more than this one but honestly i've really just been gravitating more towards this one and i'm just very much a fan so yeah if you have not tried the original sweet tooth by sabrina carpenter i highly recommend and think you should check this one out last on my list of fragrances Honestly, I've probably talked about this in a famous video before, but I don't care because now I just need to mention the fact that this has become a favorite again because I finally was able to pick this up in a huge size and that is Sol de Janeiro's Charosa 71. This is the large eight fluid ounce size. I was just flying through the small ones. If you guys have seen any of my empties videos, I've emptied at least three of these in the last year and I really need to go ahead and pick up the full size because now that we are officially moving into fall this is absolutely a staple for any of my gourmand lovers if you love those kind of buttery almost popcorny gourmands mixed with a little bit of caramel a little bit of nuttiness and vanilla like if you haven't smelled this i say this all the time if you are a gourmand lover and you have not smelled this one this is definitely the one for you this is my favorite sol de janeiro body mist and I absolutely love it. And to me, all of their body mists perform like eau de toilettes. Like they last very long. You will be highly and heavily complimented. I literally just wore this out the other night. I think I layered this with Bianco Latte and Vanilla 28 with the Chirosa 62 body oil and one of the lotions I'm going to show you guys. Y'all, I'm not going to speak too much on it, but just know i was i was turning some heads that night okay so yeah highly recommend you guys i will have a link um to where you can purchase the large size because again i use this in so many layering combos y'all like nine times out of ten if i'm doing a gourmand combo even if this isn't like the fragrance that i center it around i usually will still go in with a few sprays of this just to further sweeten up the combo so yeah. now let's move into some hygiene things so these are the items that i have been layering my fragrances with so i want to start with one that's actually fairly newer to the collection but it's super super exciting i actually purchased this from the brand's website but i'm happy to report it is now available for purchase at ulta so i will have this link in the description box but this is the hemp's vanilla frost mountain body lotion and as you guys can see this is a part of their holiday collection if you are new here y'all know i am a hemp's lover a hemp stan i usually always collect their holiday collection so this is their newest one this is supposed to be the more gourmand leaning one and i will have the notes on the screen because y'all the notes for this alone sold me i knew i was gonna buy it and i was gonna like it anyway 
Y'all, when I put this on, this smells like a marshmallow sugar cookie or something. And it reminded me heavily of the, um, the little cookie body butters that they did last year. They had a sugar cookie one. That is literally what this smells like, but in lotion form. So this is not gonna be super projecting. I don't really find most Hemp's lotions to be super projecting. They're just kind of this soft, cozy aroma that are super easy to layer with because they're very moisturizing. And I just love Hemp's lotions. Like you just can't go wrong with them. And again, y'all, this is super gourmand leaning. It literally smells like a sugar cookie. And of course you have these little bells on here, which honestly, those are probably gonna get on my nerves after a while, but yeah. This is just such a nice, smooth, creamy vanilla with a hint of just something kind of caramelly or maybe cinnamon. I've definitely been loving layering this one, especially layering this one with Bianco Latte. It's just been smelling so good. I absolutely love this one and I definitely recommend you guys pick this one up as soon as you can. Speaking of cookie fragrances, my next current favorite moisturizer is going to be the Carol's Daughter Almond Cookie Lotion. Now I did haul this in a recent gourmand hygiene haul, so I will link that video up top if you missed it. But y'all, this truly just smells like an almond cookie. Like it literally just smells like almond extract. It kind of has that it just smells like almond, but it also kind of has that underlying cherry vibe. So I have really been loving layering this with my almond fragrances, but also my cherry fragrances. So I really like to layer this with BDK's Velvet Tonka and Rouge Smoking together. It's like a cherry almond bomb. It smells so good together. So you can layer this with any cherry or almond fragrance, y'all, and it's just gonna smell so good. And again, it's also super moisturizing without leaving that sticky residue. So I really love this line, you guys. I will link the set for this as well as the body butter with the body wash and stuff together because I really love the other the other items in this line. I've just been gravitating more towards this because it has a pump. And I really just like lotions with pumps on them, as you guys can see. So very much a fan of this. If you love the smell of almonds and kind of cherry vibes, you absolutely should check this one out. And lastly, for my favorite moisturizers at the moment, of course, this is the new Tree Hut Sweet Cream. This one is just an, again, another easy reach vanilla fragrance. It's just very no fuss. It's very creamy. It literally smells to me like whipped cream like fluffy whipped cream on top of some sort of frappe or something. It's very light and cozy, but it also just layers really well with so many things. And I just feel like Tree Hut body butters are such a great amount, like are such a great value because they're only like seven or eight dollars and you get so much product and they're just very, very moisturizing. So I mean, this is the consistency. So if you guys have never used any of their body butters, they're like the perfect textured, easy to absorb into skin. They're not too thick, but they still give your skin that nice, bouncy, moisturized feel. So if you guys have not tried the Tree Hut Sweet Cream, I highly recommend. This is another staple for just any of your sweet layering combos or any combos where you just wanna add more of a sweet, creamy vanilla. You should definitely pick this one up. Last in the hygiene category, y'all. I have been using like some variation of all of these past few products just together because I've very much just been craving my gourmand bakery fragrances. So of course, had to end this section with my Tree Hut Cinnamon Dolce Body Scrub. Honestly, you guys, I'm a little disappointed with the shower gel because I don't feel that the shower gel is as strong as the scrub. And I definitely, in order to make the shower gel smell project more, I do have to layer it with the scrub, which of course that just makes sense. But I'm used to Tree Hut's body washes and shower gels just projecting on their own. So that's why the shower gel is not in this famous video, but the scrub absolutely smells like a cinnamon sugar cookie. And I finally realized you guys what it reminded me of a lot, which is the native sugar cookie. This is usually a scent that native comes out with every year for the holidays. And yeah. This, this y'all absolutely reminds me so much of this. So I have been using these two together. Um, I don't know if they have brought it back just yet because we, it is still pretty early in the season and usually this doesn't come out until like the holidays. But if it is out, I will put a link. If not, y'all, it'll be in Target in a couple months most likely. But these two together, y'all, smell so good. This is absolutely giving cinnamon 
graham cracker like the little nabisco teddy grams and they just smell so good together so if you love smelling like cinnamon sugar cookies y'all please layer these together go in with one of the moisturizers that i just showed you and just any gourmand vanilla fragrance you are going to be smelling so edible you are going to literally want to eat yourself so yeah before i jump into my skincare and my makeup i did want to actually mention a book that i'm currently loving this is a book that i have read before and i'm revisiting because i'm trying to kick my social media habits so being on youtube obviously it's super super important for you know one of my streams of income to just be very aware of new things that are coming out so that kind of forces me to be on instagram and things like that a lot more than i would like so i'm really trying to cut back on my screen time and this book really helped me to do that last year so i decided to revisit it but that is atomic habits by james clear y'all i originally got this book on audible and i read it as an audiobook i would just listen to it in the car but I highly recommend you guys get the physical copy of this because this book has so many bomb tips for building better habits and also simultaneously breaking old habits. So one of the methods that I've been adopting is basically anytime you feel yourself wanting to revert to like an old habit, like scrolling on your phone or something automatically replacing that with the habit that you are want to wanting to incorporate so say say you want to stop scrolling instagram so much but you also want to start reading more anytime i feel the urge to scroll on instagram like mindlessly scrolling i would put on an audiobook or pick up a book that i've been reading and read like a page and read like a chapter y'all that method has been working so well because basically what it's doing it is cutting back on the urge that i feel to scroll but it's also encouraging the you know want to read and do other things that i'm trying to build so this book just has so many bomb little tips and tricks y'all it's just one of the many so i highly recommend y'all pick this up i would just recommend picking up the physical book because listening to it is nice but reading it and highlighting things like that really helps things stick in my brain so this has just been a favorite of mine i'm revisiting it and sometimes revisiting a book will really help you grasp the concept better and i'm just absolutely in love with this so if you guys have read this book if you have it girl please pick it up but if you have let me know how you guys like it all right now let's move into skincare so the first thing i wanted to show are these Sephora collection little cotton pads. I know cotton pads y'all are not like the most exciting thing to be in a favorites, but y'all, I don't know. When I'm taking my makeup off with micellar water, having a cotton pad that is this big, like look at the square footage on this thing y'all. Like this is a large size cotton pad and I just absolutely love these instead of the little circle ones that you get from like Target or something because I feel like you don't have to use as much product because the surface area of these things is so much. So if I'm taking my makeup off and I'm using some micellar water, literally I only have to use one of these and I can use both sides of it and I'm good. And these are super, super cheap at Sephora. So highly recommend these if you have not tried them out. I'm definitely gonna stock up on these like for the Sephora sale because y'all know usually during the Sephora sale, Sephora collection, there's like an extra promotion on those items. And these are Sephora collection, and I just absolutely love them. Next favorite, this is the Caudale Grape Water Facial Mist. Now, I'm not like, I like facial mist, don't get me wrong, but I'm not super particular, super picky. Like, I really don't care. Like, sometimes I can literally just put some water in a spray bottle and spray my face down. But the goal of facial mist for me personally is really just to help keep my skin hydrated when I am going in with the different layers of my skincare. So... It just helps to lock in moisture and help your products to absorb better. And I was not expecting this to be anything crazy amazing, but y'all, this is so good because not only does it hydrate my face, but the mist that comes out, something about the mister on this thing, it's like such a nice spray. And I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I don't wanna spray it on camera, but if you are a fan of facial mist, and you are looking for a new one you have not tried this i highly recommend this y'all like when i go through this i'm going to see if they hopefully have a larger size because 
I have just been loving this. This is bomb. I even like using this to reset my makeup and right before I go back in with powder because this gives your skin this dewy, hydrated look. And I really, really am a fan of this. So I definitely want to try some more products from this brand because I was not expecting to love this. Like, I don't know. I don't even remember why I bought it, but I'm glad that I did. So yeah, if you guys have tried this or any other products from this line, y'all let me know what you like from them. I'm dying to know because now that I've tried this, I need to try some more stuff from them for sure. Another current favorite, this was probably something else I've already talked about, but I don't care because I just emptied another facial cleanser that I was using and that I was fine with, but I've really just been missing this and I had to go ahead and get another one. And that is my La Roche-Posay Purifying Facial Cleanser. I just love this stuff. Like my skin is so much healthier. My breakouts are put at bay. Like my skin is more hydrated. When I am using this consistently, my skin is just in the best condition ever. And I don't even know why I stopped using this. So from now on, like I'm only gonna be using this in my Youth to the People Spinach and Green Tea Cleanser because those are the only two cleansers that truly give my skin the look that I like and that are just, they work well for my sensitive skin. They don't overly dry it out and they just, I don't know. Sometimes simplicity is best when it comes to skincare and that is definitely the case with this. So it also comes with a pump, which y'all know I love products with pumps on them. So yeah, this is definitely my top two favorite facial cleansers for sure. If you have not tried it, highly recommend it. She's definitely very affordable in comparison to my Youth to the People Spinach and Green Tea Cleanser, but they both give me very great, great results, and I'm probably only gonna be using those two cleansers from here on. Last thing, you guys, before we get into my makeup and finish this video off, so I did also want to mention this Sephora Facial Razor. I recently hauled this in a Sephora haul, so I will link that video up at the top, but I really love this razor, you guys, because if you like to dermaplane and things like that, I just recently started dermaplaning and I really did not want to buy a whole bunch of the plastic facial razors. So I just happened to see this. You basically can just continue to rebuy the blade refills and I absolutely love that. And then it comes with this traveling case. It's very convenient and it's also just very environmentally friendly because this is metal and it's super easy to like put the blade in here and then take it back out. If you don't know what dermaplaning is or you are not sure of the benefits, Basically, it just helps to remove the top layer of like dead skin or peach fuzz on your um, on your face or wherever else you dermaplane. And it just helps your makeup to apply better. It helps your products to absorb better. And it just gives your face basically an instant glow because you're taking off that top layer of dullness. So I have really been loving dermaplaning my face at least twice a month because it really just helps my skin to have that youthful glow. I'm happy that I have a very environmentally friendly tool to use to do that. So yeah, this is another Sephora collection item. Highly recommend checking out. If not now, definitely picking it up during the support time. I'm gonna finish this off with my current makeup favorites. So if you guys have been watching any of my live streams over on Whatnot, if you're not, I will have that information in the description box. Y'all know I have already auctioned off a couple of these products, specifically this palette, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmos palette. Y'all, I have fallen in love with this palette. I was really not expecting to, like I picked it up because I liked it, but I have found myself wearing it so, so much. So basically this is what she looks like. I did have kind of a mishap with it because I dropped it. <laughs> um, so the blue came out, but y'all, this just has so many gorgeous shades and I have been using the pinker shades and a lot of the kind of like golden tone shades. But I also love that it has a lot of matte shades too, so you can create those looks with a lot of dimension. And I just feel like it creates such a like, you know, galactic looking look. Like, I don't know, if you're into this those sparkly, shimmery, tune character vibes, like with the sparkle in the inner corner of your eye, I'm very much into that look. And I just think it just adds a bright, like youthfulness to your face. And I've just been loving this. Like I've even used some of the eyeshadow shades as a highlighter before, so. I highly recommend this palette. I love the formulas. They're all very easy to work with and I have no complaints. So I would only say though, if you guys are looking to purchase this, I would probably pick it up in store instead of ordering it online. 
um, because I have seen so many reviews of people who have ordered this online and it's arrived broken, specifically that blue shade, which I'm assuming is just super flat, fragile because mine actually fell out when I dropped it. So keep that in mind. All right, next current favorite product, you guys, is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder, y'all. This has been my absolute favorite primer. I'm literally about to be done with it, as you guys can see. But y'all, I just absolutely love this. Like at first I was unsure about it, but once I realized I just don't like the application with this little spoon, I prefer to use a damp beauty blender and just kind of circle around it and dab it onto the areas of my face that are usually the most oily. And it just helps to mattify and keep my makeup lasting forever without getting super, super oily. Like, I just love this stuff, y'all. It's such a unique formula. And I went ahead and got the Universal because I didn't really want to add any color to my face. I really just wanted to have a nice, solid base. But this does come in a lot of different shades if you are looking to get something that matches your face better. But I truly do feel like the Universal shade will work for everyone because it really just kind of gives your face that overall prime skin look before you put your makeup on. So I just think that this shade will probably work the best for everyone, but just know there are other shades out there. So yeah, I just love how innovative Danessa Myrick's products are. I actually just recently received the new, um, the new palette she has, the Groundworks palette. So I will probably talk about that in an upcoming haul, but all of her products are just super unique and I just absolutely love this stuff. So. I will definitely be repurchasing this once I am out. Another product that I have auctioned off recently on my WhatNot platform, and some of y'all got this for a steal, but this is the Patrick Ta Blush Palette. This is in the shade She's Wanted, which I'm actually wearing it today, but I did tone it down a little bit, y'all, because this one is just so pigmented, but I truly think that this shade is perfect for the fall. So here is the shade She's Wanted. This is what it looks like, y'all, and it's just such a bomb formula so normally with this um formula i do typically go in with um the way that he recommends to use it he recommends to use the powder first and then top it with the cream and i do really like that method with some of the other colors that i have but i find with this one i do prefer to do it the opposite way because the powder is so pigmented that it's like I need to put the cream first and then just lightly go on with the powder. So all of the other lighter shades, I do really like the opposite way because it kind of gives your skin and your cheeks this natural flush. But for this really like pigmented berry shade, I prefer to go in in the opposite direction. But either or y'all, you can honestly get away with using just one or the other because that'll still give you a very pigmented rich look. So for my deeper skin tone girlies, this will absolutely look amazing on you. But even if you are a medium to fair skin tone, like you can still work with this and build this out to make it gorgeous. You just have to be very careful about how you apply it and make sure you are applying it with a light, light hand and building up because y'all, this blush is super pigmented. Like this particular shade is definitely up there with like the Juvia's Place blushes in regards to pigmentation. But I definitely wanna get some more shades because I just love the compact. It just looks so sleek. It's got a little mirror in here so you can put it in your purse. And there's just a nice variety of like shades and things like that. So you could easily touch up on the go with this. And I just absolutely love this one. All right, now speaking of on the go, this is one that I'm late to the party on, but this is another blush that I have been loving. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Blush in the shade Rose, you say, or Rose, you say, I should say. This is a really pretty like peachy, pinky champagne color and I love the applicator on this one too you guys because literally if I just squeeze it out just enough comes out each time for me to dab onto both of my cheeks and then I just blend it out with a beauty blender and it just goes on so easily and just blends out so easily and it gives my skin such a nice like delicate warm like flushed cheek look so it's not too harsh I just love this color so if you are a fan of pink blushes like I am, I definitely recommend checking this one out. I need to try some of the other colors, but I wasn't sure. I wanted to make sure I liked the overall formula first, so I picked a shade that I knew I was gonna like. 
but I'm definitely a fan of this. I love how easy it is to apply. I'm definitely gonna be picking this one up in some more colors as well. Last in the makeup category, we're going to top lips. So I just wanna show you guys three lip products that I'm loving right now. The first is the Perfect Brown Liner for me right now because while I love my dark brown liners like my NYX Rebel Kind, I feel like I've really been liking kind of that caramelly latte makeup trend right now. I feel like this is the perfect caramelly brown for my skin tone. So this is the NYX Line Out Loud Lip Pencil in the shade Total Baller. Y'all, I have been using this with so many lip combos. Like this goes well with red lips, with orange lips, with those darker brown lips or even just those nudes and pink lips y'all like this liner has been working out so well with so many of my lip combos but i specifically really love this with this lip gloss which is the nyx this is milky gloss in the shade choco latte shape so let me take this out so you guys can see i feel like i've worn this lip combo in a pet in the past um in a couple of my past few videos but this is such a beautiful kind of like almost mauve brown it's it's definitely a cool tone brown it looks really good especially with other warm tone brown colors so if you go on with like a warm tone matte brown lipstick and put this on top with this liner y'all this combo i've just absolutely been loving this i just love this lip gloss in general i have a few different shades of this but this is just the shade that I have been gravitating towards since we're moving into the fall months. And if you are trying to capture like that latte makeup lip look, I definitely recommend picking these two items. Last, last, last lip product. This is one that it took me forever to get. When this first came out, it was sold out for a while and then Sephora was sold out and then Ulta finally started selling it. So I just randomly picked it up on a whim, you guys. But this is the Fenty Icon Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade VMVP. Y'all, this is the sexiest cool tone red that I have ever used. And y'all, look at how rich this pigment is. I mean, it just doesn't even, I should have worn it for this video, but if you guys have seen me with a red lip on recently, it has been either this or Ruby Woo. And y'all, this is just so bomb. A little bit goes a long way. Literally all you need is a little bit of liner and you put this on top. Sometimes I'll just set it with a translucent powder just so it doesn't transfer because it does it does transfer if you don't set it, but it just shows up so pigmented, y'all. And it's just literally like the perfect red, at least on my skin color. Because again, the perfect red is subjective for every skin color, but I just feel like this looks good on so many people. And even on the model pictures, Every model that they put it on, no matter what color their skin tone was, it just looks gorgeous. It was just that super sexy, seductive, cool tone red. And this is definitely 100% worth the hype in my opinion. It lasts a while. As long as you set it with a translucent powder, it is not going to transfer. And I highly recommend checking this out. So I'm definitely gonna pick up the brown shade they have in this as well. And I think there's another red that they have that's a little bit more warm, I would say. So I want to check that one out too. All right, you guys, that is it for this favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If any of these are y'all's favorites or you have anything that you want to try, please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.